So you wanna build an amazing website and you're wondering if you can do that on Kajabi. Maybe right now you're on a self-hosted WordPress site like I used to be, or maybe you're on Squarespace and you're thinking, if I move to Kajabi, is it gonna be what I need it to be? Or maybe you're currently on Kajabi, but you just haven't set up your website yet. This video is for you either way. This is part of my Crush It on Kajabi in 90 days series. I'm doing 90 straight days of videos all about your online business, all about Kajabi, all about how to use this platform to win in online business. I love Kajabi. I think it's awesome for every online business owner for so many reasons. You put all of your tools in one place. It all integrates together smoothly. It is a no brainer, if you ask me, to move to Kajabi. So if you're thinking about moving to Kajabi and you wanna try it out, be sure to use my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. You get two really, really cool things. The first thing is you get a free 45 minute Zoom call with me and we'll talk about your business. We'll talk about Kajabi. We will talk about how to get set up on Kajabi. What are the first, second, third things that you need to do to get a good start? How to get your first mini course up and really any questions you have about the platform. This is one of the favorite things that I do throughout the week are these calls and I can't wait to have one with you. You can have one by signing up to Kajabi using my link. The second thing you get is my free $25,000 course launch email template. These are the exact emails and the exact email strategy that I used to launch my first course, which made over $25,000 in the first three launches. I'm gonna put that in your hands as a way to say thank you for using my link, which is an affiliate link, which means I do get a small commission. But either way, I wanna show you how to use Kajabi to make an awesome website. So here we are inside the Kajabi dashboard. In my last video, part six, I actually showed you around the Kajabi dashboard. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out the last video in this series. But you basically have four different parts of your website. You have design, pages, and your blog. And I'll go through each one briefly and show you how to get this set up. So the very first thing that you want to do is manage your theme or select a theme. My theme is Premiere. That is the site theme that I currently run. You can do different themes. You can upload a theme or you can pick a theme from all of these different choices. And then if you wanna to go to legacy themes, you just go down here and select those. There's a variety of different themes to choose from. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. I like to keep my website pretty simple, which is why I just went with kind of a more streamlined theme called Premiere. So once you select a theme, you can go in and customize the theme. And that's kind of how this works. So I have, this is my Preaching Donkey site, preachingdonkey.com. This is designed for pastors and preachers who want to communicate better. So this is my homepage. It just kind of has a call to action to download my 21 day guide. That's basically the entire homepage. Then I'm able to make my header up here, my menu, and all of these things are controlled over here. You can add a section, images, text, Facebook comments, image gallery. They make it very simple to add whatever you wanna do. And it's you know super simple and it's very intuitive to do. So from design, we go to pages. Now with pages, you can add whatever pages you wanna add and you can choose whether these pages are added to the top line main menu or they're just kind of special landing pages. Like for example, this page is a special landing page that you're not going to be able to navigate through on my site, but it's just where I deliver one of my lead magnets called the 10 step sermon prep checklist. So this is the page is what it looks like. And then when somebody puts in their name and email, I get them subscribed to my list and they get the 10 step checklist. So pages can go, you can do landing pages, you can do sales pages. For example, I have a uh, sales page. So join Killer Sermons Academy, for example. So this, this is my uh, let's see. And by the way, the conversion rate is not zero. I have it tracking in a different way. So in case you're wondering, that is not, it's not zero. It's more than zero. So this is the sales page for that product. And again, this is just another landing page that's made on Kajabi and all your landing pages exist in this little area. Then we have the blog and the blog section is laid out like most blog sections. You have the most recent one at the top and I'll show you how it's edited. So this is where you edit. You can add a video or audio or like me, I just embed my link from YouTube, put a little text in there, and that's basically my post. I keep it pretty simple. Got my SEO 
information there. So that's really the, the simplicity of the blog. You can make it a lot more complicated than this. And if we preview, you'll see that on my blog, I have a couple of things going on. One, the title, right? Then I have the categories. Then I have the video itself, then the text. My sidebar is my 21 day guide because that is my lead magnet. And then again, the 21 day guide. So that's a really important thing. And then you can search. And then I have social buttons. This is a very simple approach. I realize that some people might wanna go a lot more complicated, but I have a very focused website. My website is all about one thing, and that is to get people on my email list. And the way I do that is I really emphasize my lead magnet, the 21 day guide. If they get on here and they read the blog, that's awesome. If they watch videos, that's awesome. That's me creating uh, value, that's me proving myself, that's me serving them. But ultimately what I want is for them to download my lead magnet because that puts them on my email list and we can then have a relationship, I can offer them products, I can serve them even better. So that's the way I view websites and Kajabi is kind of built for that method of website building. And then finally, you have analytics, which will show you data on how many opt-ins you got, how many views you got, how many sales you got, and so on. But those three areas are the website building mechanisms. You have the design, the pages, and the blog. What I would do is definitely go straight to design, get your theme set up, set up your home page and kind of the about page and some of those pages that you're just gonna have static across the top. Then set up whatever landing pages you have, definitely get a lead magnet in there. We'll talk about that later in the series and then go ahead and post a blog. That is a great way to get started on Kajabi websites. And if you wanna know what to do next, you can go ahead and join Kajabi using my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because that way you won't miss any of the videos in this series and leave me a question down below and I will address it in a future video in these 90 videos. I'll see you tomorrow for video number eight. Until then, you can just watch the next video in this series or check out this playlist right here all about Kajabi, how to use it and what it can do for you. So I'll click right there on that playlist and I'll see you in there or I'll see you in the next video.